We are at the airport. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm chat there, but you want to say hi? Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our day trip chronicles, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done one for a while. No, literally. <laughs> it was pending. <laughs> <laughs> literally, Sarah's so flying me out this time. <laughs> Last time I flew her out to Switzerland, this time she's flying me to Milan. To Milan. Hopefully it stays straight for like the whole day as well. As long as it don't rain, you're good. Yeah. I'm wearing this Zara fit. You would have seen it in my haul if you watched my haul, matching trousers and then Look at the Gucci. Oh, and the bag, my favourite. I feel like this is a UK essential, like every UK girl has this. Not every UK <laughs> girl, but... Do you want to do your outfit? Yeah, it's like Ken. Sit back, sit back. Yeah. My wife see? come looking really nice and clean for oh. me. <laughs> Body suit and then trousers from Karen. Show them the fresh shoes. Oh. The white air forces. They're not going to be white forever. <laughs> yeah, you know I really like those trousers. And yeah, these really. are my favourite pants. Yeah. They're, they're like stretchy. Yeah, they're good quality. Karen Miller. Might send me the link. We are trialling out the new system. About time. The new 3D technology. Successfully went through check-in because, I mean security, because we have literally nothing to check in. We have half an hour, what, 20, 21 minutes. I'm literally just gonna get my halloumi and then. Yeah, she loves her halloumi from Leon. And then we're gonna go to the gates. It's broken. That's broken as well, this is the only one that's same Different colour. Yeah. Those different colours. Why wouldn't I be? And Sarah just ruined the shot with her umbrella guys. I'm so sorry. Look at her. It's barely even raining and she's got her, her massive <laughs> she's, she's so funny. Oh my gosh. This is the face of someone who just woke up. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the weather. We, we literally, literally, we, we left the UK with rain. We're coming back for more rain. Can you imagine? It's getting us low. When are we going to get the cars? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Karen? We were literally on scooter. Did I have a call? Did I have one? Yeah, yeah, I did vlog. I'll put like the thumbnail here. Don't watch that again. We landed in Milan. I actually remember the airport when I came back here in February for my birthday. Again, if you haven't watched that vlog, go and watch it. I really liked and enjoyed my time when I came in February. So hopefully I enjoyed my time when I come here with Sarah because if you guys didn't know, Sarah's Italian. Half. Or half. She loves to say that, yeah, yeah, half. Make sure she says the half. Yeah, so she's Italian. So she's basically going to be our like, tour guide for the day. So I'm not going to lie, Sarah. We're counting on you to make sure that we get to the right destination. Well, my family's not from Milan, but... Um, they're from Italy. But I can speak the language, so I should be able to get us like, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So right now we're literally waiting outside the coach station. Well, the coach bus. We got tickets, a return ticket to go to the city centre, basically. And this is 20 euros. We was going to get single, which is 12. But because we needed a return, it just makes sense to get at the same time. So that added, obviously, an extra eight euros. I was going to say pounds. I'll put on the screen the conversion rate because it might help you guys. Maybe £15? It won't be expensive anyways. Probably, yeah, we're around there. We're literally waiting for the driver to round up some more people to come on the coach. It's going to be hopefully only just an hour of a drive. It doesn't even say. I think it's like an hour anyways. And then when we get to the centre, we're going to kind of navigate from there, see what we're going to do. I'm not really that hungry, but by the time we might be an hour, I might be hungry. So we're thinking we might go to like the cafe or something. Apparently, like the Italian tradition is that they have. What do you say? How do you say it in your language? No, it's not tradition, it's just like something that you can eat for breakfast, it's cornetto. Cornetto. Which is basically just croissants, you can get it with like Nutella, cream. Yeah. It's like a typical coach. I think that should be my goal for the vlog, like just to kind of like um, speak Italian as much as I can. So you have to like tell me the words and then I'll say it. But possiamo salire.
are just looking at me for the refund because I know how you get when you're hungry. <laughs> I've been coming right to be fair. Others beg to differ. Well, I think that. It's horrible <laughs> to deal with her. Never want to see her. <laughs> she's dragging it, she's dragging it. She's dragging it, but I could really do with some nice, like, pasta. Yeah. After all, that's why we've come to Milan. I don't understand. Oh, you look so cute. Thank you. The light's hitting you regardless Is of it? the rain. This time she didn't bring the sunshine there. What I, a know, I normally always bring the sunshine to What's everything. going on? You. As soon as we got off the coach, we were literally like I just want to flatten it. Bombarded with people trying to sell umbrellas. I hear it, I hear it. The grind is the grind. Five euros for one umbrella. Yeah, long day. I just put on my hood and I just kept walking. I said thank you, gracias. I kept walking. If it was like one euro, would you have bought it? No, because I don't, I have a massive hood, like literally the size of my hood is absolutely fine. I don't need a whole ass umbrella, so I'm fine. If I had like the jacket you're wearing with no umbrella, I mean no hood, then I would have bought an umbrella, like it makes sense, do you know what I mean? But there's no point. Anyways, we're gonna walk to the cafe, which So we can go between zone M1, MI1 and MI3 and it was 7 euros and 60 pence Again, each. Than the UK. Right. And you can go to between 1 and 3. That's so much better than, yeah, literally, than the UK. But we're going to go to the Duomo. I've actually been to the Duomo before when I came last time to Milan. It's actually nice, but last time I, I came with a car. So hopefully this experience is going to be a little bit different because I'm going on a train so yeah we'll see how it is hopefully it stops raining when we were outside just now it was like lightly spitting but yeah let's see how it is going to be we are currently here 
<laughs> why does it say Bloma? Okay. That's where we're going. Right. That's the station. Right. Like Brent Cross. So we're literally here and we have one, two, three, four stops to get to here. Tonight is gonna be some changes, no acting so diddy. So stop acting and get it clapping, cause I'm knowing you feel me. Yeah, you cute, but don't let this sh go to your head. Cause when this cutie won't do pimping, another one with you. Purr, rocking the skirt, and you heel so hard. I ain't with none of that tricking, but I feel so What's so hard. mad is like I was literally here like six months ago, and I'm here again. Should we strip me up that girl? And I'm here again? What do you think? How much? Three years. Really? Let me see. It's actually nice. Should we do it, Sarah? Okay. Let's go with you. Let's go with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a celebrity, guys. <laughs> so we found this guy to take pictures. Oh, so down I'm scared of my one, to be honest. Wait, do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Wait, move over. Move. Sorry. Okay. Um, she's just selecting which picture she likes. We're currently at a restaurant huh? to get some pasta because you guys already know me, if you know me anyways. I love pasta. I'm a horror for pasta. We are horrors for pasta, and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm trying to find out the name of a pasta dish, but Sarah sent me to go ask the lady. The lady's actually eating it. I am a tourist. But it's like she's sitting with her friends. What if she doesn't speak English? That's more we have I don't know. I have to look at the pictures. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't even tell you. Sarah did a big shot. Well, she bought something. She bought something. Do you want to, can I tell them what it is? Yeah. Can I show them what it is? Isn't that yeah, I'm not gonna take it out, I'm just gonna like. It's a long shot bag, she got the chomp. Long, long champ bag. She got no, the but black I think in That's really nice packaging, like what Jim Beast does. Got yeah, literally. That was her big purchase of today. She's telling me to get me <laughs> to get something for myself, but. I don't know, if I see something that tickles my fancy, then cool, but if not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy it just for the sake of buying it. I need to buy it because I actually want it. No, it's something that you're going to need as well. Yeah, yeah, want it and need. But I don't really have anything that's a, a need right now, so. I got mushroom pasta. I love mushrooms. Not like obsessed with mushrooms, but I don't, like it's fine for me to eat. So this is what it looks like. Got bread. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Everywhere I'm at, everywhere I look, somebody's staring back. Paranoid, even now I'm paradise. Terrified to see my parents. We're gonna get pizza as well. It's nice, but I just feel like I'm gonna get full of this. Honestly, and I'll, I'll be fine with margarita. And the, the dough here is quite thick, I'm feeling anyway. Jack fellas hating, I don't blame him. I mean, how unfair is that? The top is where they like to see you get embarrassed at, especially when you charismatic and the cop is wearing masks. All these airplanes and these tech bags. Out of 10, I'll probably break the movie like six. Yours is six? No, I mean, but in total, because of the price, like what I'm paying. Mm. I think I'll probably break mine at seven. We got pizza. It's hot as hell, though. Yeah, the plate's boiling. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, you know, 100%. Sarah almost got haggled into <laughs> giving money. So a lady came and was basically asking like, where we're from and stuff. Like she was, she was somewhat, yeah, she was nice. She can kind of tell that like, I was really standoffish because I was on, on my phone and stuff. I already know like when people come to you, they come to you for a reason. If it's not for food, it's for money. If it's not for money, then it's just, just for combo. 
And I knew this particular situation was for money, I'll be real. Cause I saw her at another table. Anyway, so she had come. And then, yeah, I was really like kind of my stand up. I don't really don't want to talk anyways. Oh, I have my hood on because I'm cold, by the way. And she was like trying to tell Sarah, yeah, check your bag. And like, check your money. Sarah was like trying to tell her that like, I don't have money. I don't have money. And I was just like, nah, we don't have money. And then she goes, she goes, calm, calm down. So, like, she basically told us to calm down. Girl, I'm calm. I was so calm. I was like, no, nah, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. And then at a point that she basically just gave up. It was like her cooking book, basically. That she was trying to sell. I don't think it was her cooking book. She just gathers books. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like a way to like make money. Okay. She tried to offer me one, but I don't. I know how to read in Italian, so how does? Like, how would I even be able to keep the book? She kind of gave up talking to me. She was just talking to Sarah. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, one, I don't speak Italian, and two, like, I'm not interested. In the nice way, I'm not interested. She gave up in the end. And then she left and I turned back to see if she was actually going and then she was like oh is there anything else you want to add she said this all in Italian by the way and I was like no like of course not and she just walked off <laughs> don't fall for the tricks I ain't gonna lie because that's how they get you that's how they get you Sarah <laughs> we've literally finished at the restaurant we're now walking back to the train station because we want to visit a thrift shop we met a lovely lady in Prada and I was trying out the hats I probably didn't record because you're not allowed to record in designer stores. So I inserted some clips, pictures, and whatnot. It's really, really nice. I'll be real. Shout out to her. Her name's Veronica, and she was basically like just telling us about her life and like her dreams and stuff that she wants to do. It was like very inspirational because, like, she wants to be a designer, and she's been jumping from different places that are actually kind of like in in her industry, and she just wants to take that, that stepping stone to actually be a fashion designer. Do you know what I mean? Like, and hopefully one day have our own yeah that was really cool then she had like a whole 10 minute chat in the store when she was actually supposed to be working so bless her but and then after that we went to long chap and that's where sarah got her her bag from <laughs> so she got her bag from long chap i met another lady who actually works in long chap and her name is kiara yeah yeah i got it right she recommended for us to go and see her sister's shop so her sister has a thrifting shop. Yeah, so we're just gonna go and check it out, see what it's like. I've never been thrifting before, so it's gonna be an interesting experience. I really do wanna start going thrifting though, because I heard you can get some really good gems at thrift shops. Designer yeah, designer gems as well. Vintage, bags, accessories, clothing, all of that stuff. So we're gonna go check it out, see what it's saying, and we're gonna let you guys know. My hand is aching. Hiya. Yeah. I think so too. It's not giving Bob your teeth. It's my foot. Guys, my foot hurts. My foot actually hurts. Anyway, I feel like I'm so zoomed in. Uh huh. I feel like I'm so zoomed in. So, we're currently sitting down at like some seating area outside of a restaurant, which Sarah actually said we won't be able to sit down. The guys now cutting us. We're gonna go to an ice cream place. I feel like I'm not in focus. There we go. We're gonna go to an ice cream place, which is like five minutes away by bus. We're gonna check it out. I want some sorbet. I wasn't really feeling sorbet earlier, but now I'm actually feeling sorbet. I don't even think I'm gonna have dinner at this rate. It's currently 6.54 in Milano. In London, it's five. So far, the day's been really good, I'll be real. This is my ankle walking for so long that's one like con that i would actually say about traveling without a car <laughs> is that my foot actually hurts i don't mind traveling without a car though to be fair but the only thing is is like again like doing stuff there's like this like yeah i think there's definitely more pros than cons or if anything it weighs each other so not a bus so how do you, let's get them from the back Not gonna lie, that Stradivarius was not given 
at all. Thank you. That actually smells nice. Currently in Lush, just trying things out. We forgot this was a store. So yeah, I, I remembered that the li they had lip scrubs. So. Yeah, I forgot this was this was a store in the UK. So it's quite interesting to see that it's, it's actually still around as well. I feel like just stepping in here has actually made me want to get like a soap that's like buttery for my skin, but not too much because I have sensitive skin, so it has to be like that organic things because if it's not organic then that's when it's like you know <laughs> it makes it harder for me to incorporate with okay. uh, we have all the testers so just uh, press it and you can smell the, the scarf oh love thank you that's not bad <laughs> I'm gonna try this rose jam. I'm gonna show it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, what is that? Karma. <laughs> yeah, that's why it smells like this. This is nice. Find out some sorbet at this restaurant. Apparently, it's really, really good. Mango's not all that. Huh? Mango's not all that. Mm -hmm. Interesting combo. I'm gonna try the kiwi one. Kiwi one's not that bad, you know. I'm gonna try mine. What percentage did you find that? Doesn't matter, it's my charger. <laughs> <laughs> you know the man there that will ask me what percent my phone is as if it's not my charger. Look, is it? I have the fast charger. So do I. Yeah. So all I need to be is on your adapter for like ten minutes, five max, even, just to do checking. So then it's the fact that she's ready planning her plans. <laughs> I'd give this ice cream a 10 out of 10. When I first tried the mango, it wasn't given. It wasn't given. And then the lemon combination with the mango is good. I'm actually happy I got this scoop This is like three euros for like two scoops. And it's actually all right on the cup size. It's actually all right. It's not too bad. I don't think I'm going to have dinner. If I'm being sterile. But Sarah still owes me a drink. Well, we're going to go get some wine. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not in, the, in this country. Tomorrow I'm gonna be skipping this weight off. Every night eight today, it's gonna be skipped off at the gym. How sad, our day's coming to an end, it's 9.04. And we have to, don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> we, <laughs> we're literally getting back on the train to go back to the central um, station where we get our coach to back to the airport. We are mentally scarred and financially scarred <laughs> after all of the planes, flights we've missed. So, we're getting there a little bit early, guys. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Sarah got scammed. Sarah got scammed. <laughs> like, she literally got like, she wasn't really hungry at the restaurant that we just came from. We literally just went there to like, sit down and charge our phones, essentially. And, that way. And um, the lady kept asking, no, this way. The lady kept asking, oh, like, do you want something to eat? Something? She came out of a whole ass platter with desserts. We didn't even ask for desserts. Like, we didn't ask her to show us, basically. Came out of a whole platter of desserts. Anyway, she was like, no, nah, we're not really hungry. Then I was like, oh, maybe, like, you want, like, a fruit salad or something? And then she was like, oh, no, I'm still not really hungry. And then she was like, oh, maybe, like, do you have some chips? Or No, she said crisps that she can, like, kind of nibble on. You know, like, you know, like the packet ones? the small ones and she was like okay cool like, i'll get you some crisps it literally came in like a bowl i saw her and then literally pulled the packet up why did she just give you the packet stand, just like standard crisps standard crisps like think of like pombez <laughs> or something that's probably what it was what's it yeah what? what's it something in between that yeah so it's literally just like a standard packet of crisps anyways she poured it in to a tissue which was in a cup i mean which was in a bowl brought it to us Cool, it was eating, 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 and it obviously came to pay for the bill now. Why was it seven euros? 
seven euros, that's like what, six pounds for a bowl full of crisps. I was shocked. I was literally saying to Sarah, I'm pretty sure that she probably gave Sarah the price of the uh, chips rather than crisps. Like, you know the actual fried potato fries? Yes, she did. 100%. I know she did, but it's just like, you haven't got I time to like stand she, there. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, to be honest, that's just not something I do anyway. Mm, I would do that. I'm gonna so we're on our way to go and get the coach now. I'm so sad. Oh my gosh, Milan's coming to an end. How sad. I want to stay here. In fact, I want to come back here and do the spa. Because it's a spa that everyone goes to on TikTok. I really want to experience it. So hopefully, you guys will have you having another Milan vlog at the spa because that'll be really nice. For now, it's time to go back to LDN. The whole day, the trains have been packed. This is the first time I'm able to sit down on the train and there's no one standing in front of me. It's crazy. I need to use my phone as a flashlight because the bus is off. So that obviously means that there's no light source, there's no power source whatsoever. But as Sarah said, as she sang, should I say, now it's time to say goodbye. I think I might end up the vlog when I'm in at the airport. I think I'm gonna do that after check in. Well, we have nothing to check in. But after that, the security, I think that's when I'm gonna end the vlog. Not when we're back in London. No, like before we board. Like security, after security. Be in one country one day. And then the other country, literally an hour later. Our flights are like 11.25 and it's like 9.30. But because we don't have anything to check in, we don't have any like We're literally just going to walk through. Yeah, Coach is an hour, get there hopefully around 10.30. And then we literally have an hour from then to our plane yeah. departs. Today's been good, today's been actually really good. I feel like it's actually necessary sometimes to actually just take a break. And I think more people should take day trips. I mean, I know. I no, because the price is going to go up, so don't do that. Oh. <laughs> no, but. I do advise people to actually take breaks and stuff from work and like your environment because me coming here, well us coming here, like we might have not have had a great week, but us coming here has kind of like, <sighs> yeah, like it's like a breath of fresh air essentially. My teeth look so white in the camera. I feel like mine would too. I think I prefer my light though. It was giving more of a vibe. Today was good as just a day trip. Like I'm content with going home. Yeah. Like, usually same. Yeah, we're like, oh, I wish we stayed a little bit longer. Mm. Like that happens to us a lot. Mm. Like we get to a country yeah. and then we're just like, oh, like, I wish we actually stayed a little bit much longer. Yeah. Then we can appreciate it for what it is. But yeah. Sometimes you literally just need to be somewhere for a day. And yeah. Go home. Go home yeah. I actually hope you guys have, did enjoy this vlog. I've given a lot of different like points, like scenery, views, all of that stuff. I try my best to actually remember to vlog because I have this thing where if I'm enjoying the um, like the experience. I'm literally stuck in the experience. Do you know what I mean? And I don't really um, vlog. But leave a comment if you liked it, leave a like if you liked it, and also leave a subscribe. Guys, our flight has been cancelled. It has been cancelled. The one time that I don't want it to be cancelled, it's been cancelled. The times when I actually need it to be cancelled, it never gets cancelled. When I'm running, flipping, sweating my ass off, trying to get to the flipping gate, it doesn't want to cancel. They want to leave without us. Guys, I am so ready. I'm what? In fact, I've been so ready to actually just go home. I'm tired. I'm honestly so tired. I want to get in the comfort of my own home. Oh, just stop all everything all about. Like, shower. Literally shower, eat, brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, like literally do my skincare, everything. I just want to go and be at home and get in your bed. Mm, like literally. But I'm stuck in, in my land. You know what? Like some might say, oh my gosh, like you're so lucky. But right now, there's no clarity in regards to like, what's going on. Like we've literally been told to come to Lost and Found. We're here at Lost and Found. No one's coming, no one's even announced anything, no one's said anything, so we're literally just here like headless chickens. Yeah, I was running. literally gonna say that. Great man thinking like And the thing is, <laughs> even if one was to say, Oh yeah, you're lucky, like you've got an extra day or like an extra couple of hours, you can't do anything because Yeah, because of where away. we are, it took us an hour to go from 
the airport to Milan, like Duomo, like the where everyone goes basically. We can't do that. We ain't got no car to do that. This ain't Amsterdam. This ain't, this ain't Holland for that matter. <laughs> oh my days! Like, come on. I want to go home. It's just so annoying. It's like there's no clarity whatsoever. Yeah, cool. Like we might be com compensated. I still want to go home. I just, I, honestly, I just want to go home. As we said, we were quite content with it being a day trip. Yeah, like I was so happy with it literally just being a day trip. Yeah, like, like, so happy. How the whole trip went was really good. Yeah, and until, until now. So literally from before this part, before getting to the airport, everyone's fine, everyone's fine. Well, you were like, I'm going to close it as soon as we get through security. Yeah, I'm back. I didn't get to close it because it's not done yet. There's always something that must happen to If us. we're on holiday. There's always something. Oh my god.